When I started Sri Rakam School for the Blind, the first thing we did is, I told everybody, you can ask the name of the child, but don't ask the caste and religion. And the education department came and gave us an application telling we have to mention the caste and the religion. I said, we refuse to mention because in the Indian constitution, I, I have the right to not to say no. And they were shocked. They didn't know such a rule. They said, no. I said, I won't say. Neither I'll tell my children also. What do you do? They didn't do anything. <laughs> if I had taken the um, caste in the religion of the children, then there could have been, been a war inside the school. We all enjoyed eating from one plate. Yes. Nobody knew each other's caste. They only knew that the smile and every one smile created a million smiles. Million happiness. Sisters running up to help the Younger ones, younger ones running up to help the elder sisters and made sure that I will not keep in touch with family or friends because they might poison me to tell this child belongs to so-and-so religion, that child. I do not want to hear anything of that sort. If you believe in that, I think together there is a more love. Yes, a lot of love. Sharadinda Bandhyopadhyaya, born on 30th March 1899 in Jaunpur, died on 22nd September 1917. Pune was an Indian Bengali language writer. He was, wide, he was actively involved with Bengali cinema as well as Bollywood. The creator of the Bengali detective Byomkesh Bakshi, Sharadindu composed stories of a wide array of varieties including novels. Short stories, crime and detective stories, plays and screenplays. Sharadindu said, the day that man discovered the tools to kill another human being, he also brought into being a weapon that could boomerang upon him at any time. The sophisticated weaponry that is in great secrecy being produced all over the world today might one day serve to destroy the entire human race. Like the demon who sprung into being from Brahma's imagination. Like Frankenstein's monster, it only when spares creators. Don't you think so? Sharadindu said, the day man discovered the tools to kill another human being, that is my fight. When the Ukraine war between Russia has happened, I said, please NATO and America keep aside, go and just create a war on a war footing to remove all the weapons, including the weapons which you are holding from around the world. That should be our campaign. The weapon is nothing but a hate campaign. One hate leads to 10,000 hates. One love leads to 10,000 of love. Even the NATO countries, the seven richest industrialized countries are Christian countries. The NATO are Christian countries and the Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. There Jesus Christ has proved love can move mountains and oceans. And if love is there, there is only one way. Remove all the weapons. Sharadindu said, Way back in 1800s, the day that man discovered the tools to kill another human being, the day the husband discovered the tools to suppress the women to make her a slave, he also brought into being a weapon that boomerang upon him at any time. He also brought in another hate. That hate was the disease. That time there was no disease. The may, the, the moment the man suppressed his women and made her a slave, made her a maid servant, all diseases came into the house. And mother in law and daughter in law fights erupted like Russia and Ukraine war. 
The sophisticated weaponry that is in great secrecy being produced all over the world today. The sophisticated weaponry, the sophisticated money, the posh cars, beautiful buildings. That is in great secrecy kept as a secret in the banks, hand in glove with the political leaders and the administrators to siphon off huge amount of money into the Swiss bank being produced all over the world today might one day serve to destroy the entire human race. That same money we have destroyed many rich families, many political families. The sophisticated weaponry that is in great secrecy being produced all over the world today might one day serve to destroy the entire human race and we are watching that and they are provoking NATO and America provoking Russia to press the button and there will be more, no winners. The whole human race will be wiped out. Madness, drunkards, drug addicts are sitting in the leader's chair. A leader should lead, not yield to pressure tactics and the, the yielding to hate tactics. Pressure of the hate tactics, pressure of the greed tactics, which their religion have never taught them. Sharadindu said, like the demon who sprung into being from Brahma's imagination, like Frankenstein, it all even spare its creators, whatever they create. The same will swallow them back. Their own children are swallowing them back. Their own children are throwing them into the old age home. The greed, dear lovers, don't leave any, any money for the children except education. All the money, please rush up and give to Rakum School. Sorry, give, give to all the NGOs. Let them create some smiles. Otherwise, if you, the more you keep it in your bank, into huge, huge buildings, there is only pain because it is like the food you eat and never go to the toilet. And constipation is the biggest disease in you. That money is the constipation. Every day what you make it on the spot, on the spot, like take a see on the spot, clean up what is needed for the housekeeping. Balanced, give it off. Like Mother Teresa said, want to use, want to wash, want to dry. Only three kilos, not more than that. Please give it up. And together we can have a loving world. A world where you can see happiness in every moment of your feelings. Didn't the trees give up fruits? And they still continue to give fruits whether they said thanks or not. That will be the family which all the religious leaders, all the churches, temples and masjids have taught. A family which sits together and shares immediately. Brothers become rich and don't take care of the younger brothers. Elder sisters become rich and don't give to the elder, younger sisters. Equally, equally share it on the spot and empty it up. And then you can see a massive rush like an ocean of money and power and plow coming into you and only health and no disease which you cannot buy from any market your health diseases simply come in because of your greed of possessing for your children don't send your children to high-tech schools there is no high-tech schools don't send the children to tuition classes they are the destroyers of your house Ask them to sit in your house and hug your parents and grandparents and listen to the stories and create medicinal plants and together do your samskriti. Sharatindu said, the day that man discovered the tools to kill another human being, he also brought into being a weapon that could boomerang upon him at any time and you are seeing that now. The same lab, biological, biotech lab which they created Biological weapons that convert, got converted into Corona and they destroyed the same country first. 
same country, the same creator. And now you can see the same hate of Ukraine and uh, Russia. And the whole world is clapping from behind and uh, putting oil into the fire, weapons into the fire, more and more weapons. NATO nasty. NATO should uh, change the name to nasty and then go with flowers. Talk to the fighters and stop. Yes, stop. Stop the war. To stop the war, we all have to take a pledge to empty all the weapons from around the world. No weapons. Nobody carry weapons. When you are not allowing people to carry weapons, how dare you keep weapons? You governments, how dare you keep weapons? How dare you keep hate and greed? The day the man discovered the tools to kill another human being, he was brought into being a weapon that could boomerang upon him at any time. The sophisticated weaponry that is in great secrecy being produced all over the world today might one day serve to destroy the entire human race. 